Okay, this is the Speedshore hydraulic pump. Uh, it is a manual, op a manually operated pump. This is how we pressurize our speed shores. Uh, going through some of the parts of the, the pump itself. Um, first thing we're going to look at is the view window here. This is going to tell us where our uh, fluid level is in the pump. Uh, discussing the, the fluid itself, um, you can use straight water in these pumps. Uh, you can use actual kerosene in this, these pumps, or you can use the uh, an antifreeze type solution that we use in ours. Uh, being up here in the uh, upper north or Midwest, you definitely want a, a solution that's not going to freeze. So there is an eco-friendly um, antifreeze solution that we run in these. Uh, sometimes in construction industry, they'll ro we'll run them with straight uh, water in the summer months, or they'll actually use kerosene in the winter. But uh, for our situation, we want to use the uh, eco-friendly. Uh, and a free solution. It's also it's non-toxic. If you have some manner of uh, pump failure or hose failure, it's not going to be uh, toxic to rescuers or the victims. Going over the parts of the pump itself, uh, this is the fluid reservoir. This is where you would add your fluid. Uh, the operating handle or pump handle. Uh, you can see there's a gauge here on the top of the unit. Uh, this is our pressure gauge. Uh, it has a graduated scale at the top and also has a colored scale in the middle. Uh, it has a pressure low, an operating range, and a pressure high. Uh, what we want to do is when we pressurize these struts, uh, the needle has to be up in the operating range. Uh, you don't want to overpressure the struts, and of course you don't want to underpressure the struts. This is your operating valve. This is what releases the pressure or has the, the system closed. All right, progressing along uh, through our system, we will now add a two-hose manifold. Uh, these are the hydraulic fittings that I mentioned uh, earlier. Basically, you just pull the collar back, install the fitting, snap it on, make sure it's securely uh, fastened. Uh, on the manifold itself, it has two operating ports here and three valves. These are quarter turn valves. The valve is in line with the hose of the fitting. The valve is open. If the valve is perpendicular to the hose of the fitting, the valve is closed. Uh, these are our two uh, lines that can come off our manifold. This right here is used as a pressure relief. We'll now install our hoses on the manifold itself. Same process, pull the collar back, snap it in, make sure it's securely fastened. You also know on the hoses, or notice on the hoses itself, they have valves on the ends of them. Same thing, if the valve is in line with the hose, the valve is open. If the valve is perpendicular to the hose, the valve is closed. 